what are the odds you'll get into a car accident in the next year, regardless of your behavior? I'm Professor Jeff Rosenthal, and we're about to find out. When experts give advice, they often try to tell you unknown, mysterious secrets that will save you in times of duress. Shark attack? Punch it in the nose. Quick stand? Stay very still. Parachute doesn't open? Aim for water. But for avoiding a car accident, the advice is much simpler. Use common sense. Slow down, stop using your cell phone, and of course, don't drink and drive. Large cars and SUV owners might get a lot of grief for their gas guzzlers hogging the road, but when it comes to surviving car accidents, size matters. You are more likely to die in a small car than in a larger car. When everything is equal, the bigger the car, the smaller the chance the full impact will reach your body. Small cars have a vehicle death rate about one and a half times higher than larger cars and SUVs. When it comes to drivers, maturity matters. Teenagers are far more likely to be in a car accident than any other age group. With traffic-related fatalities, the most common cause of death for people aged 16 to 20. The elderly also account for a disproportionate amount of traffic fatalities in the US. In 2000, only 9% of the population was over the age of 70, but they accounted for 13% of all traffic fatalities and 17% of all pedestrian fatalities. Older drivers do not crash more, but they are more likely to die from crash injuries. What are the odds you'll be in a car accident in the next year? Well, there are about 6.2 million motor vehicle accidents in the United States annually. On average, about three people are involved two drivers and one passenger. That translates into roughly 18.6 million Americans getting into a car crash each year out of about 300 million people. That means that your odds of being in an accident in the next year are about one chance in 16. That's uncomfortably high, and no matter what precautions you take, you can only rely on your own actions. So remember, slowing down and eliminating distractions can reduce the probability of anything happening to you or those around you. I'm Professor Jeff Rosenthal, and those are the odds.